Am I live? Am I? Really? Or any of us? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. It is Sunday. I just realized I have to pee. I can't pee and come back. I'm going to have to just ride this out. I'm doing okay. I'm exhausted. I'm very, very exhausted. Uh, Because it was a big week for everybody. Wednesday, obviously, Dynamite, uh, which was a, a swell time. A lot of business going on. And then Thursday, went straight to Philly. So much business. Weird, you know, fun things. Uh, Tony Storm had a big promo at Stardom. And then I was at Matt Cardona's podcast where I ran into Maven, who is still a piece of shit, slightly less uh, than online, which is nice. And I did a scene from my one Not A Live Guy show, uh, which was fantastic. Don't need to get into that. When I get the footage, I will put it up. I think you'll all have a nice time. Then Friday was Ring of Honor. Long day. Lots of business going on. Saturday uh, was WrestleCon. Yesterday was WrestleCon. I did a couple laps. I didn't do anything. I didn't need to do, do, really, really do anything. Um, and then and then I came home uh, late. And I'm exhausted. And today... Obviously, you need to go watch the latest Hey W with Hey with Hey Archer with Lance Archer. Uh, I've never seen him like this before. I didn't know what I was going to get into. I was horrified most of the interview. I'm still terrified, but oh my god, uh, I never expected him to be like this. It's insightful. It's deep. It's smart. It's witty. We we hit some uncharted territory. I've never seen him like this before. My advice to you would be go watch it, go like it, go comment, go share it, go share it on uh, Twitter too and YouTube and any of the, you know, the good shit. Let's defeat the algorithm. Um, sometimes when they tweet a YouTube link, you know, fucking guys suppress it. We know the routine. So beat the system and go support it and go tell Lance that you like him because he needs it. We all need it. Um, oh, yeah. Let's look at the underwear. These are nice. These were, these are the last in the gift pack from Vanessa. These are uh, hotel keys. Here it says live show. There's a cigarette and a hotel key that says lovers, lovers lament, lovers lodge. That whole thing there, and uh, red keys, and little candies. So I found them romantic. More keys, more hotel keys with Cupid. That whole thing with the you know, for God knows they they make it seem romantic, but who knows what filthy horrible things uh, go on in those hotels. Uh, let's talk to people. Everybody said hi, OJ City. Hello. Karen said hi. God loves you, said good morning. Amanda said good morning. Mass Sanity, Po Girl. Aaron V said good morning. Hope you're all doing well. Mike said good morning. Joe said good morning. RJ, will you be in Peoria on 420? Trying to figure out if I should bring the Wilk spoons with me. Yeah, probably. I think I'll, I think I'll be there. Yeah, because I'll be in uh, the next day's dynasty. So why wouldn't I be there? We got business to do. We have an ant business to take care of. I've lost my place already. Uh, James said, good morning. So Sierra said, good morning, beautiful people. Prisma said, good day, friends, and exhausted RJ. Christine said, good morning, RJ, and fellow devout coffee and underwear washers. You're a dive, consider you devout. Sean said, good morning, RJ. Christine said, you can totally pee and come back. Let Sylvia run the show for a second. She's not around. She wants nothing to do with this. James said, good morning. God loves you. said, it's going to be awesome. TK showing that footage. And the footage that he's referring to is my episode uh, of Hey W. Lance Orcher, which you need to go watch now. Speaking of footage, nobody has more footage than this guy, David Arcade. Good morning, all my friends. That guy, I think David should run for mayor. I think you've exhausted all the entertainment options. Politics, here we come. Uh, I don't like I don't like the endorsement I made. It's very divisive, uh, and I'm woke culture upsets me. David just emoji spammed hearts 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 clapping clown rainbow hearts hearts hearts. Read into that what you will. Manuel said, "Is Sam the American Eagle an underrated Muppet character?" Absolutely, one of my personal favorites. Number one, uh, number two looks beautiful. One of the most beautiful Muppets ever made, and you know gives it to the country. A little political commentary there. Isn't that exciting? Nell said, I love Lance Archer so much. So do I. I think I'm falling in love with the man. Out of fear, but still. 
go go show the world how you love him. It's very important. Uh, Human Adventure said Lance Archer was a tremendous guest. The skit you did at the end, chef's kicks. Sean said, hey, Archer was my favorite 90s Nickelodeon program. Hey, Archer. It was great. David Arquette said, good morning, all. I love you all, and congratulations on your retirement, Jerry. What the, what are we talking about right now? What are, we, what are we talking about? Who is Jerry? Where is Jerry? Molly said, hi, honey pie. I haven't been called that in quite some time. Benjamin said, Lance Archer told a story about the time he saw a werewolf on the Jericho Cruise. I'm sure it's completely legitimate. Rob said, bro is packing. God bless. Luby says, morning coffee time. Mia said, sorry I'm late. I was watching Hey W. That's totally fine. David said, David said, sitting here with Jerry, and he loves your nipples. Oh, Jerry retired? Well, <laughs> Jerry, of course, if you've seen the documentary, You Cannot Kill David Arquette, and you've, you've forgotten it, then watch it again. Uh, Jerry is the friend and confidant of David as they wrestle on the beds. There's that wonderful erotic bed wrestling scene that I think is just fun. Jerry is a stalwart member of the community, and he's decided to retire. And I, for one, Jerry, salute you. Uh, Benjamin said, I would vote for David Arquette on any ballot. And that's part of the problem. Okay, Gamer said, well, hi and good morning, everyone. Well, hi and good morning to you. Bradley said, your interview has had me thinking about my faith. What are the odds that a ball 238,000 miles away is the perfect size to perfectly block a fireball 93 million miles away if everything is random? Mm. Oh, yeah. Is the eclipse? In, I, I don't. Look, I think eclipses are cool. I don't want to talk about it with people. You know, it's annoying. I don't want to hear about it. I do. Let it happen. Let's all just look in silence and then let's move on with our day. Uh, Prisma says, why don't you. I already missed my place. Why don't you? Ah, ah, Prisma Scooper said, didn't you get a pair of underwear with your name all over them too? Yes, I didn't. I don't know if I've worn those yet. I must. Bradley said, great interview. Love the heaven scene at the end. Miss Sandy said, OK Gamer was referenced during the WrestleMania press conference last night. I did not know about this. Please go on. Human Adventure said, obviously, I'm not a wrestler. But if I had an entrance, I would make it sure to get to the ring crescendo. Crescendo and then I've loved, again lost my place. Crescendo and then cut to the cut to the music before the crowd can sing along. Ten seconds top, tease the crowd. Well, it's not happening. Josh said Lance Archer is so fun. I always like seeing more relaxed versions of the wrestlers. Yeah, I'm still quite intense. David said yes, great. Hey W. Nomic said David for president. No more for mayor, city councilor, city councilor David Arquette. That's what my money's on. David said, Jerry the cop. Yeah, yes, I know this. LB said, hmm. Christine said, how did I forget the erotic bed wrestling scene? Mass Sanity asked me, how was the Hope News Network, the Bob Hope special that I finally was sent to me, found the link. I have not watched it yet. I'm going to watch it today. Today is, um, is going to be a day of work. I'm taking it easy, but work. I need to treat myself, though, by watching the early Bob Hope special. Christine said, oh, Lance Archer was episode 95. Holy shit. Isn't that incredible? So next week is 96. Then we're off for the pay-per-view. 97, 98, 99. So we're, we're what? We're like a month and a half away from episode 100. And then what happens then? Syndication? Nails has been a member for 47 months. Jesus. Uh, can we get a 60-second scene of you trying to convince St. Peter not to let Dan House in, into heaven, but Lance captures you and is mad that you are not being devout? Okay. St. Peter. First of all, may I say, you've been doing a great job here. This place is stellar. I love it so much I don't want to go back. Maybe the Buddhists are wrong. I'm good here. Uh, it's been a joy and a hoot. Kept beautifully. Thank you. One small note, you may at some point encounter a person of sorts. Claims to be a person could be a demon or a ghoul or just a money guy, big money guy. And, and he goes by the name Dan Housen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You've seen. No, no, that's uh, that's Van Velzen. That's what you're thinking of. Not Dan Housen. Yeah, the guy who came after. Um, 
listen, I don't think, let me put it like this. I don't think including him here would be good for the reputation of the whole place. I think it would tarnish it. If you let him in, who do you let in next? Colton Gunn? Do you, you understand what I'm saying? He's money driven. Very bad. Uh, satanic overtones. He's got tattoos. Blah. And um, eh, he likes blimps. And my thing is, you know, blimps, sky, I let you have your space. You know, I'm not going to go flying around up here. Here we are. And uh, the teeth thing, he's got a bag of teeth. That's got to be a sin somewhere. Isn't there like a asterisk list? Ja. Ah, yes, Mr. Archer, thank you. I Oh, no, hey, I'm I'm so devout that I'm trying to, to maintain the... Why don't we all go have lunch? And scene. That was uh, that was quite a scene. Happy anniversary, nails. John said, RJ Lance is a good laugh. Nomek said, it's not a real eclipse without Bonnie Tyler. Okay, Gamer said, uh, WrestleMania press conferences happened way past my bedtime. I definitely missed it. Matt K said, Merry Ice Cream Christmas. Tights and fights. What are we, what are we talking about? Walter said, hey. Nail said, big money guy. Uh, Christine said, by my unreliable calculations, including the skipped week for Dynasty, episode 100 should be May 19th. Ooh. V said, Danhausen did pizza cutter Mackey Ito this weekend. Maybe he does belong in the bad place. What a horrible, disgusting, ranked person. KP said, I love Danhausen. J.I. said, Danhausen said, hell is a very nice place. Ever considered visiting him there? I won't visit him if he lives next door. I don't think it matters where so much as I have to visit him. Nell said, yes, food solves all. Jason Cooper said, thank you. And then retracted the message. So Jason Cooper no longer sends me his gratitude. Amanda said, sad to have missed you at Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, but saw some great pictures. Love the outfit. That night was, okay, first of all, do you know who else is even on the show? Finn Balor. Mikey Whipwreck, Tommy Dreamer, me, Maven, The Acclaimed, Steve Macklin, Alley Catch, Steph Delander, and I think that's it. It's got to be one or two more people, but you're never going to see that group of people together in the same place ever again. Plus, I mean, I did my whole show uh, strict to Maven's face. So, uh, John said, I hope TK doubles your salary after the 100th episode. You're invaluable, RJ. Also, you know, I got to get Matt Cardona on the show. I'm trying my best. Uh, when we're in LA after Double or Nothing, maybe I'm trying to hook up some, some you know, celebrity guests. It's, it's been a while since we've had someone the caliber of David Arquette. And ideally, we could get so much better. Prisma said... It's been a while now since you did the scoop and pour on, on air. Are you strictly a cold brew guy at home now? Thank you for reminding me to even pour this. Yeah, you know what? I think I am. Oh, it's already spilled. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. We're fine. We're okay. Yeah, I think I am because it's it's getting warmer out and it causes me to want to get colder. And I just like it. Quite frankly, I think it tastes so much better um, despite it making such a mess here today that's better remember it used to go all over the place it was just hot and then i would be sweating i would end it sweating and yeah no i am strictly a cold brew guy fuck it uh miss annie said did you hear about chelsea green being kicked out of a hotel for looking like an escort she does that for ten dollars bradley said isn't it traditionally believed that saint peter was supposedly crucified upside down that's wacky saint peter for you you know always a ham Walter said, RJ, did you watch AW Collision? It came on late. Yes. I was I was there live when it was being taped. So I know the things that went on. Um, craziness. Madness. And next Wednesday, or this Wednesday, you have Penta taking on Adam Copeland. I'm actually, I never thought I would see. You also have Mariah May taking on Anna J. Very interesting. And the Charleston Championship Champagne Toast from Tony Storm 
to Thunder Rosa. Lord knows what that is. Um, Nail said, how can people watch it? Is it only on their Patreon? Can you get footage of the part maybe for us ardent supporters? Mark Sterling told me personally that the footage will be, will be sent to me. So I'm just waiting on it. Also, we need to get, and Harley said this to me before. She keeps asking and reminding me, we need to get the footage of my improv show from the crew. We have the intro, but we really, really need the whole show. Christine said, no one is the caliber of David Arquette. Suit yourself. Nell said, did you see Sami Zayn is doing a stand-up show? No, I didn't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who was it about having a beard? Mr. Scott said, can there be a faction of Maven, Raven, and Matt Taven? And it would be called The Haven. Red Dog said, I can see Dan Housen putting a curse on a lawnmower. Okay. Nell said, sanity. I heard that story then. saw a picture of her wearing the outfit from Pretty Women, so I saw, thought it was a work. Jason said, I love that David Arquette is keeping Bozo the Clown. What an awful, fantastic snapshot of the 80s. Jason, you do not know your Bozo history. Bozo has been around since, I believe, the 50s. First in capital... Ra let's do. Let's derail the episode to do a history of Bozo the Clown. He was uh, invented by a guy who worked at Capitol Records. And he was the first ever read-along record. So it would come with a book. And when, when the bell rang or whatever, the kid would turn the page. Very successful. Huge. Probably saved Capitol Records. Um, and then, you know, they put bozos everywhere. They sort of sort of license him. You know, uh, you go to birthday parties, you got a bozo, you got different guys playing bozo. One of which was Willard Scott, which we don't need to get into right now. And then a guy named Larry Harmon, who was previously one of the bozos, said, I think we can do a lot more with this. I want to buy bozo. So he bought Bozo and then became the, the cartoons and the syndicated TV shows and all the merchandise. It wasn't syndicated. It was in local markets. That was his thing. He had like a franchise. So if you were in Pittsburgh and you wanted a Bozo show, he would send you the wig and the outfit and like a little instruction manual on how to be Bozo and the cartoons because there would be bumpers for cartoons. So you could do whatever you want. So people in Chicago had a different bozo than people in Pittsburgh, than people in Texas. Fascinating. Aaron said, don't forget to like the video. Isn't that so sweet of her? Um, Jucifer said, did you just say Charleston Chew Toast? No, I didn't. Nail said, beard, am I right? And Kevin Featherstone said, beard. And he's got one of the, one of the best beards I've ever seen. Certainly in the top three. Bradley said, The Rock coming out with his own made-up title. Mac O'Donnell comes out with his internet championship. What would... You be the made up champion of maybe David could make you the first Bozo champ. I was a champion of Greek town wrestling and I had a cup, like a trophy that was burned in a fire. It's a Greek diner fire. It was a tragedy. And uh, I gave myself a little sash instead. I said, let's. And it was fun. I had a nice time. Jason said, oh, I know, but I remember watching Bozo on WGN during the 80s. The ball toss game was amazing and fixed. You must be talking about the grand prize game. John Woodman said, Christian Cage, Brian Cage versus Diamond Dallas Page and Hangman Page in a steel cage, commentated by Ethan Page. Sponsored by Royal LePage. Squirrel Squad said, do they have financial aid for Clown College? They must have grants. There must be countries who have grants. Like if you go to Slovakia, where they're, oh, the clown's very serious. They, there's no way they don't have grants. Uh, Tom said, what will you do when the all info is shared on Wednesday? And we learned it was you... Uh, nothing <laughs> is a weird thing to say. I was clearly at all in wearing a mint blazer, standing in the crowd, trying to get any on cams possible. Two of them got cut, and I'm really upset about it. I got that big one where I walked through Wembley and I said, Look at the history of Wembley, and I rattled off a bunch of facts about the place. Pretty fucking informative, by the way. And then I got those two guys from Arizona who just ruined my entire evening, made me look an idiot. Squirrel Squad said, RJ would have a me TV television title. J.W. Goulet said, with Ethan Page, a guest referee. Lindsay said, it was a time Greek town was awesome. Bradley said, wasn't there a pockerful of a Bozo story of some kid saying, cram it, clown, to Bozo? I, is that like a Krusty thing? Sometimes I feel like Krusty's been around for so long, too. We've gotten the two conflated. 
Rob says RK would be the world bruiser wave champion. I'm not using that kind of phrase. Prisma Obscura said, speaking of Slovakia, no foreign underwear word today? I guess not. I assume Vanessa is asleep. Bradley said, maybe not me TV, but the TMC champ. You you mean the TCM champ? I would be I'd beat the shit out of Ben Mankiewicz. Mia said he's upset Matt Taven took him all over London. Yeah, so we'll be back at Wembley for all in. And the last time I was there, it sucked. Matt Taven ruined my entire trip by dragging me to Abbey Road. Let's look at a crosswalk. I'm like, you know, I was there. It took, took so long to get there. It was just like a two-hour walk. And he was like, it's right around the corner. It was not around the corner. And I just remember I kept going, you know, the Beatles probably crossed this street too. They lived in, in England for a very long time. I'm sure they were men about town. Why well, don't we just say they walked here? Paul McCartney walked here. Who gives a shit? Um, but now, you know, there's, there's people that'll help me a little more. Like uh, maybe uh, Mariah May. Well, and I feel like, no. I don't feel like she would do the same things that I would do uh, in London. Um, Mia said, oh yeah, I just read this. Red Dog said, Joe Doria is still the best Bozo the Clown. I miss seeing him and his psychic cookie on the Super Sunday show on WGN. I feel like I've taken over them. I feel like this plus hey is my Super Sunday show. Um, v said, you sound like a fun travel buddy, RJ. Dalton likes traveling with me. David and I, we've traveled together. Um, who else? Tra I really don't travel with people, you know. Um I like traveling alone. <laughs> it's very enjoyable. John said, let me know if you get to Newcastle, England. Or I'll show you around. I know Pac. I got to get him on the show. I need to get him on the show. Um, Bradley said, have you ever heard the story of the old man who was on the cover of Abbey Road? His wife was going shopping, and I think he was fed up with it and said he would wait outside. God bless him. And then they never paid him a dime. Christine said, RJ is like your supportive friend. He will go with you to do something you really want to, then complain about it forever. It was a waste of my fucking time. Nell said, I hope Mariah takes you clubbing. I got those stabbings there. Squirrel Squad said, just at a bar, this is probably the exact urinal John Lennon used. I know Ringo was peeing all over the place. Yolanda said, good morning, everybody. Good morning to you, Yolanda. It's lovely to see you here doing, doing those things. Um, were you there? Did I run into you at all? I didn't, and I'm sorry about it, and I feel bad about it. Who did I run into? Uh, so Cal Val, it was lovely to see. Colin Delaney, I have a Coaster Club picture. Uh, we took a, I saw him, and we took a Coaster Club picture. Here we go. This is great. Huh? Look at us. Aren't we happy? I think we are. That's adorable. I also saw, this is a nice picture. We got Manser bombed. This is me and, and Allie Catch here at the major wrestling thing. And she's being weird. I think she's being weird. You know, the pose is fine. But to have the tongue in it, I think it makes it grotesque. And then we got uh, Manser bombed, which is adorable. What other pictures are here? I think that's it. Those are the only two pictures I took. Oh, also somebody on Blue Sky said, believe it or not, I took this photo of you. This is me, I think, wanting to watch Mariah uh, at Ring of Honor. There's a little a little area there that I like to stand. Uh, oh, and be remiss if I didn't mention this fella. It's Sanjay Dutt's birthday today. What a sweet fella doing his business, walking around that whole thing, laughing before I even finish the fucking sentence on hey. Thanks a lot, Sanjay. And, and I tambourine you. Uh, for your service. V said, what's your treat for today? D there is a bread. My mother made a bread. And I have it. I have it. I have it here. Hold on. This is a bread. Uh, this is half, just half of it. And inside is uh, zucchini and cheese. And I'm going to put it in the oven. It's going to get all hot. And then I'm going to devour the shit out of it. It's going to be fantastic. Um... Christine said, Costa Club. J.W. Goulet said, RJ, New City Dweller, just power washed all 96 episodes of Hey This Weekend. Thanks for giving up, taking bumps. It was for the best. It was it worked out for everybody. 
Nail said, Colin seems universally beloved. There's like two people who don't like him. Jason said, will you be traveling to see the sun blocked by the moon for two minutes tomorrow? It's tomorrow. No, I will not. No, I will not. I got the gist. V said, how dare you call Allie grotesque? She took the pictures, and then I had to ask her to send them to me. It's embarrassing. It's pathetic. Daniel said, hi, RJ. My friend is too shy to comment, but Betsy just wanted to say she loves watching Hey W with me and that you're her favorite Canadian. Who else is on the list? Who's the top five? I need to know what company I'm in before you make those kind of grand claims. Benjamin says, love Allie Cash. Remember, for four months, Bradley Netherton said, should you do a short scene as the old man angrily waiting on his wife when he knows a few lads walking across the crosswalk at Abbey Road? Okay. Now, I'm not... I'm not going in. We've done it enough. They're shoes. They're just shoes. They're your size, and you should get them. And I, But I want no part of it. You will not wear those shoes with me. Do you hear me? I think they're grotesque. What sort of color is orange anyway? What are we, clowns? I'm not going in. I refuse. Do what you want, but I will be waiting outside. Mm. Hmm. Barefoot. I can cross the street to barefoot. What is this? What is this country coming to? Hmm? Hmm? I think that's disgusting. I think that's repulsive. Hmm. You know what? You should go in and buy shoes. Yes, you. I'm talking to you. What's your name, sir? What is this? Hmm? John. Oh, that's clever. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And I bet everyone thinks you're very smart, but deep down, you know, later it'll come out that you're an asshole. Hmm? And you? Hmm? What's your name? I bet it is. I bet it is. And you'll probably uh, outlive almost everybody and still do the same things over and over again and act like they were just as good when you first did them. Hmm? Hmm. And your name? Mm hmm. Yes. So it tells me you won't be around for too long, but uh, everyone will ultimately like you. And you? You, sir, remind me of almost sort of a, a, a train conductor. Could you, could you just, do you have like a whistle? Can you pretend to blow a whistle? Oh, that's fascinating. Wonderful. You should go buy some shoes. And scene. That was the angry guy waiting outside of Abbey Road. <laughs> Neil said, Sanjay is awesome. He's Hayes' biggest fan, unfortunately. Um, Squirrel Squad said, Sanjay Dutt is easily top five trash bag pants from the Indies. Daniel said, that looks delicious. Uh, Red Dog said, what do you think of Retromania Arcade Cabinet and Poster, RJ? Nice. What else am I going to say? Um, Mana has been a member for 24 months and said, well, a song would be lovely with a good beat and maybe a shimmy. Um, Pardon me, miss, but I've never done this with a real live girl. Straight off the farm with an actual arm full of real live girls. Pardon me if your affectionate squeeze fogs up my goggles and buckles my knees. I'm simply charmed by the sight and the sound and the scent and the feel of a real live girl. Um... That's off my album, Creepy Songs About Women. Uh, it also includes, uh, oh, thank heaven for little girls. If you haven't seen that, you need to. Um, Typo said, I haven't been able to attend for a while, so I'm excited to be here. I could barely recognize you in the Dead Man Show outfit because I'm an actor. I'm a chameleon, you know? And when I, you know, slip into a role, I commit fully. I forget who I am when I'm doing it. Christine said, we will be mostly dark here because of the eclipse. They're sending the kids home from school early. Isn't that strange? Jay said, I also have a friend who loves you. She doesn't even watch wrestling, so you're her number one human wrestler, I guess. Fine by me. Daniel said, being Canadian herself, I'm not sure if I'm privy to her inside baseball. I can admit to getting shy after seeing you outside of Box Park at Wembley last year. Damn, your hair is majestic. That's weird. Uh, Christine said, arms crossed, tits up. Jay said, we can, cannot confirm that Dan Housen is human. Uh, Benjamin said, I love the Shining Time Station reference. Pogo said, yes, shimmy to this one. Typo said, oh, the song is cute. Vanna said, yes, I need the full album. Christine said, creepy songs about women is a very robust genre. Um, 
you must have been a beautiful baby. You must have been a beautiful child. That's, I would think, with number three on the track list. Um, Christine, uh, Nail said, I'll display that album next to my any, you can whistle to album, of course, with the title song. Anyone can whistle. Bogos is so excited for the solar eclipse. All right. I don't know. There's no reason to be excited. These things happen. Chong Chanakanya said, Why do people think you wrestled on this last rampage? That was not me. That was London Lightning, who who didn't fare so well. Which is but quite frankly, probably better than I would have done. Walter said, WrestleCon Saturday, some AW wrestlers were there. RJ, did you go to WrestleCon? Yes. Nell said, did we mention that we liked your big coat? I love the trench coat too. I'm going to be wearing it more often. This week I wore a leather jacket because I didn't want to be the trench coat guy all the time. Fucking detective. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to mix it up. But it will be back in the future. Human Adventure said, all right, folks, on my way to hear the world. So maybe I'll see you guys in my blue heaven someday. Great movie. Be good humans. Christine said, trench coat? So distinguished. Miss Annie said, would kids from Bye Bye Birdie be on that album? Probably. Awa said, is Peter Forsberg still a jerk? Yes. And I told that story um, while taking pictures outside with fans uh, in Philadelphia. Sometimes you see the, you know, the city in that week, it's just fans everywhere. So try to take his pictures with as many people as possible. Um, because Peter Forsberg is a dick. Christine said, the Beatles' Run for Your Life would be on the album. Absolutely. Uh, Chunky said, I love the episode with the murder hawk. He seems so chill and out of character. I think that's that's just him when he's not hitting people. I got caught him on a good day. And if you want to see it and support it and love it and share it, go to AW's YouTube right now and watch the fucking thing and save it and like it and all the fucking thing. Uh, so Sierra said, my top five Canadians ever, Roddy Piper, RJ, Kenny Omega, Keanu Reeves, and Michael J. Fox. I disagree with at least one of them. Jay said, can't wait for the front picture of the trench coat look. Mind your business. Prisma said, were you freezing your tits off in Philly or does being Canadian prepare you for that kind of weather? It was way worse in Boston. It was like half snowing black ice in Boston. Philly was actually bearable. Nail said, oh, look at that sexy casual pose we're getting. I did this pose and somebody on TikTok talked about it. There's some kind of pose like this. And I'm just, it's nice to stretch. Um, Walter said, when is Kenny Omega coming back to AW? When he's healed, I was, would assume. Unless he is, you know, wants to do commentary or sing the national anthem or something. But in the meantime, the man's on Twitch. Who can blame him? It's a great thing to do. Typo said, unrelated story so you don't catch up. My boyfriend and I found a signed plaque of Rey Mysterio yesterday at a garage sale. Best purchase of the year. I'll say so. And when I was at WrestleCon, I bought the Nug, the WrestleCon exclusive zombie sailor toys slick, the Doctor of Style action figure. Because he he needed it. Um, Chanakya said, RJ, can we see you as a valet to one of the women's wrestlers? Who would accept me? Pogo said, now that I'm going to be singing Run for Your Life all day. Nell said, I always hope to find a treasure at a garage sale or market or thrift and never do what you have to do. It's the fun of the hunt. The things you can stumble upon. Mmm. Mmm. That is delightful. Uh, we had a good time at WrestleCon. We walked around and went, oh my God, is that Ahmed Johnson? Who else did I see? I saw Victoria. Which was delightful. Oh my God, I totally forgot about this. And I'm so upset that I didn't take a picture with them. I was approached uh, by two women. And it's Arn Anderson's wife and Ted DiBiase's wife. And Arn's wife just wanted to reiterate to me how much she loved Arn's episode of Hey. And that it was, it was one of her favorite things that he's ever done. And she was telling Mrs. DiBiase, you've got to see this. I have to send you the link. And it made me so happy. I had the best, best time. And then I was so upset that I didn't take a picture with them. Uh, such sweet women. And if they're watching now, which I don't think they are, my heart goes out to them. Typo said, I feel like Mariah May would be down to have me as a valet. I don't think so. Chanakiaka said, 
Maybe with the CEO, you could act as her assistant. Let me get her on name first and see how she does. Daniel said, have fun and enjoy your coffee, mate. If you ever get to Nottingham in the UK, I'd recommend 200 Degrees. They roast all their beans here in Nottingham and have a number of coffee shops. Hmm. Christine said, speaking of Nug, make sure you listen to his podcast, One Dollar Words. It's the most fun game you could ever play on a podcast with Nug. Benjamin said, I was at Supercard, and I almost cried twice. Well, you maybe you should journal. Walter said, RJ, I picked Thunder Rosa to beat Tony Storm on the next AW pay-per-view. Any opinion? Yeah, Thunder Rosa is not, not one to be trifled with. She's someone I do not go near backstage because woman is in the zone. She has the title she never lost and is determined to get it back. And, uh, oh, I feel like things will heat up because we're what? Two, three weeks away from this pay-per-view. And, uh, of course, the, you got Mariah. You still got Deanna around. And poor, poor Luther. So, plus, this whole thing with Mina and Stardom and this Club Venus. What is this, all my children? Uh, yeah, Thunder Rosa seems, seems very determined. And uh, shit's going to be fucked up. V said, RJ could be a fill-in boy for Dalton. Well, you got a better reaction than Paul Walter Housen did. Uh, Christine said, I was approached by two women. It's a very good hook for a story. Amanda said, by the way, the video of people saying, who is RJ City when opening the crates made me laugh, cry on the inside, and in the brawler group, I argued with someone because of how awesome you are and how cool it is. Well, there were plenty of other videos of people who did enjoy me, but I didn't want to focus on the positives. Nail said, almost, Benjamin, almost. Mark didn't get you sobbing at the end. What are we talking about? Tybo said, I feel like it's a story he could tell often, Christine. Red Dog said, AW would be great. Without Omega and the EVPs, the Hardly Boys, that's not your best work. I think we can start there, number one. Uh, number two, I love the suits. I love the new entrances. And uh, Kenny Omega isn't even here right now. So you should at least be enjoying it. If he's that upsetting to you, you would think you'd be having a good time. Bradley said... How many Zombie Sailor toy figures have you bought? I just got the Mark Sterling 1 of 500 purple suit. We need an RJ City ZST. I don't even, I don't even know if I'm contractually allowed. I'm going to look into it. Should have gotten a fucking bendy. Chanakaya said, RJ, would you please start vlogging? Would love to see the behind the scenes from your perspective. You want to just see me standing in the hallway texting for five hours? Up to you. Christine said, Allison Rosen and I were talking about all my children earlier this week since nobody asked. Well. Uh, you know that my grandparents lived in the same area. That's who's Lucius. Don't want to get into it right now, but it's something that the whole family is really proud of. Walter said, AW, make an RG City action figure. will be cool. In the meantime, you can go to shopaw.com and buy the mugs, which Lance Archer loves, and uh, WrestleLance merch. And you can go, I guess, on eBay and try to track down more uh, micro brawlers. Chunkakaya said, bring Abaddon for some coffee. Would love her out of character. What? What is this? Tybo said, RJ, we would absolutely watch a five-hour stream of you texting. What do you think we are? Me as a general hospital is my favorite. So what's the one I liked with the, with the little person and the magic woman? Passions? Am I losing my mind? That existed, right? Um. Christine said, I love Susan Lucci. It would be super. Per I love La Lucci. What are we talking about? Christine said, Passions. Yes. I knew I was thinking Passions. So he had said, Hey, RJ, did you see the clip of Sebastian Maniscalco complaining, complaining about the COVID V when he was at a restaurant? Oh, he seems like a real swell guy. Mike said, Dalton's big boy. Didn't quite clear the ropes. Did you make, did you do many dives in your career? I dove once. And I was like, This sucks. I'm not doing it again. Everybody loves passions. We all love passions. Rare B said, damn, I thought it was the only one who remembered passions, and I didn't even watch it. Uh, Chanka Kaya said, what do you think of Adam Coblin's promo this week? I thought he was going to sing. Efren. Ah, oh, Efren came out of nowhere just because I said passions. Passions with Juliet Mills, Haley Mills' sister. Yay, Pollyanna. Oh, my God. Efren just threw the sheets off the bed and said, I have to comment about passions. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Molly said, I finally got my micro brothers. Amanda said, I'm going to Chicago to see New Japan's Windy City Riot and cannot wait. I see any suggestions on must-dos in Chi-Town? Been many times, so no touristy been there, done that. Um, no, 
anytime I'm in Chicago, it's for a show, so I don't really do anything. Why are you asking me? I don't know shit about Chicago. Can somebody help this poor woman? Melissa said, Passion was the best and only soap opera I would watch. So funny. Bradley said, imagine trying to rent Passions and instead putting on Passion of the Christ. Could you? Um, Passion of the Christ is actually, I think, less ridiculous than Passion. Uh, Prisma said, what kind of dive was your singular dive? I think I jumped, I went to the top rope and then sort of fell to the floor. That would be the best way to describe it. Melissa said, remember when Timmy was down the well and a doll and a small person at the same time? Who could forget? Let's rewatch Passions. Amanda said, ha, ah, damn you. Yeah, that was my that was my singular dive. By the way, if you like games, and I know you do, click on Efren's YouTube. He's, he's uh, a modern-day Wink Martindale, despite the fact that Wink Martindale is still alive and doing well. Uh, when Wink Martindale dies, the mantle will go on to Efren. Um, Neil said, sassy. Mia said, I think Passions is on YouTube. Oh, I'm sure. Red Dog said, I remember watching Days of Our Lives a couple times in the 90s. Marlena was locked in a giant Tweety Bird cage the first time and a wine cellar the second time I watched. It's just captivating. That's a whole soap. I feel like the soap opera business transitioned to reality TV. I feel like that's what, what that is now. The housewives and all that kind of shit. Uh, that's what, what the business transformed into. Amanda said, this is my random plea to voice the need for you to be at old wrestling this year. Look, I'm doing my best. If I'm available, I will be there. Uh, Typo said, oh, I miss not knowing who you're talking about 90% of the time. Bradley said, did you ever swap the VHS tapes when you would rent movies? Swapping the horror Jack Frost with the Michael Keaton Jack Frost was the one that was always easy. No, but I once lost Man on the Moon. I had to bring it to school for a project. I got it from Blockbuster and I lost it and I couldn't find it. And then you had to like buy the tape back from them and then they buy it from you. It was like the weirdest system. It was so embarrassing. Miss Sandy said, Passion ran for nine seasons, 2,231 episodes. We're getting close. Christine said, the weirdest thing about Passions is the actor who played Timmy died in real life on the same day that the character died on the show. The Passions Curse. Nails said, Tybo, I'm constantly clueless. No idea what Passions is. Nails, look it up. You don't lose your fucking mind. Uh, Prisma said, Mercedes Martinez and Diamante for Hey W. I will put them on the list. Nell said, okay, Christine has me interested now. Is there a conspiracy? A curse? Uh, Josh, a uh, God said, rest in peace, Josh Ryan Evans. And that was a message directly from God. It's the guy who played Timmy. Uh, who could forget when he was small and yelled at. You know what else he really loved as a kid? Like that they, they would, you know those movies they would just play in school often and you're like, I feel like my elementary school played this movie five times in a row. Fucking Simon Birch. And they got, I mean, it's whatever. The movie's whatever. But then they got Jim Carrey to act in it at the end as like a serious guy. Like, dude, no jokes at all. Was that really weird? Because it wasn't even his like transition into serious dramatic roles. Nor was this, nor was this a dramatic role. It was kind of ridiculous. Um, it was almost like Clifford in that flashbacky sense. You know what I'm talking about? Um, Bradley said, "Man, there's only 1,225 episodes of Dark Shadows. That's a shame." Aaron said, "One time I rented the Aristocrats, and the inside of the box was the Aristocats. I still think about what that kid on the other end of that swap. What a shame! One time I put in a movie. I can't remember what it was. It was a DVD. It was at my grandmother's house." She oh she put in a movie and a DVD. My grandparents were like the early Netflix subscribers when they were a mail in DVD service, and she got one of these movies. And I had mistakenly the last time I was at her house left a DVD in the player, and it was, uh, I think, the first Ring of Honor pay per view. And she so. She wasn't looking and put the DVD on top of the other DVD and it started playing obviously the bottom one. And uh it was a it was a match with the Christopher Street connection. And I'll let you guys look them up later. And uh she was quite, quite confused. Uh, Melissa said, Where's David? Did he fall back asleep? Absolutely. American Girl said, Epiphany Center for the Arts. Oh, here's things to do in Chicago. The Epiphany Center for the Arts is always a pop-up somewhere. Revolution Brewery, Lake Michigan Coast, Art, Art, and more Art, plus Pro Wrestling Tees, they're still open. Oh, yes, that's a good idea. 
Tybo said, my school's movies were Cool Runnings and Selena. Nail said, was anyone ever trapped in a well for to become a repeated storyline thing? Or is it just an urban legend? There, no, there was a real uh, thing in the States in the 50s or the 60s. And they made a good movie with it uh, called Ace in the Hole. Christine said, we never got movies at school. Just tell a Francais and read all about it. Talking about shitty foam pineapple. Maybe today's special if we were lucky. Amanda said, my most recent 8x10 purchase was Harley Cameron. Will we ever get another of you? Can I just send you some photos from old design? Do they have them on the shop? I think people would buy pictures of me. I don't know why this is not available, but but I think it could be. Faith said, my school always played the Pirates of Penzance, and that's why Faith went to the greatest school ever. Awa said, there's only been 114 episodes of The Littlest Hobo. Hopefully we can beat them. We certainly blew the Chevy Chase show out of the water. V said, my school very much loved to make us watch Bill Nye. Yeah, well, I'm, of course. Nail said, have you seen Jade Chung's collection of ROH DVDs? Some gems there. I have not, but I did run into Josh Alexander. It was lovely to see him. Christine said, baby Jessica was in the well. Who could forget? Jessica McClure, said Matt Sandy. Yes, of course. I mean, I forgot that. Bradley said, my grandmother confuses CDs with DVDs. She's called them the exact opposite for decades. No amount of coaching helps. She's 81 now, so no use changing. It's never too late to learn. Poe Girl said, I remember some small child was in a well in the 70s or 80s, I thought. My friend and I were watching it. And then we really seemed to, like, do away with wells. <laughs> I thought, this thing's stupid. Nail said, I think the signed pictures are about $30 on Shop AW, but you get one in the crates. Uh, Pogro said that was baby Jessica. Who who could forget baby Jessica, the well baby? Love a good well baby. Let's do another one. Do you remember the balloon boy and it turned out to be completely fake? That's the shit we have to deal with today, and it breaks my heart. Nell said, ah, Josh is one of my favorites. And Canadian. Christine said, oh, shit, I almost forgot. And that could mean anything. Mean anything at all. Bradley said, I did convince my dad to rent the DX VHS when I was a teen. I love that segment, but they're like, show us your breasts. Uh-oh. Christine's gifted five memberships. Molly Efren, congratulations to you. Red Dog Saeed and Nick all got memberships for some reason. That's, that's the thing. That's what she does. So good luck with that, everybody. Miss Annie said, as an SCTV fan, what's your favorite Joe Flaherty character? Oh, well, I'm now going to be talking one day. I liked Sam Maudlin when he did Maudlin of the Night. It's really hard to beat Count Floyd because you're also essentially include Floyd Robertson in that too. Um, yeah, Count Floyd was, I, I would really, really say, the best. Guy Caballero, I really, he was just there more to move everything along. He did a good. Kirk Douglas, but one of my favorites is the character of Sisu uh, from, from two sketches. One was a movie called Gaslight, uh, Cynthia, played by Andrew Martin, and Sisu. And then they did another Hitchcock parody called Murder is Bad for Your Health. And Joe Flaherty, as Sisu, keeps trying to kill Andrew Martin, Cynthia. And she just keeps saying, Sisu, Sisu, Sisu. And he keeps trying to dump her over a cliff in a wheelchair, but she won't come out of the wheelchair. Um, it's a good one. I've watched it way too often. He also did Lyle Lovett, um, a Bing Crosby. He did a really good Bing Crosby. He did a Mitch Miller, which I enjoyed. And he did very early on, he did a uh, Jack Klugman. He did a Quincy. I also loved, and I tweeted about it the other day, Maniac Mansion. It was a show on YTV here. And it was based on the Lucas Arts video game, but really had nothing to do with it. And Joe Flaherty played a mad scientist who lived with his family and on top of a uh in a house that was on top of a meteor, which caused weird shit to happen in the house. And it's nuts. They're I think they're all on YouTube. Go back and watch it. And it's like, oh my God, this is insane. They did TV parodies constantly. I mean, it, it was written by Joe. And Eugene Levy. So it has the heart of SCTV in it. He also did another thing that I enjoyed. And I think it was on Showtime called Really Weird Tales. And it was an anthology series. Um, three or four episodes. It was like a comedic Twilight Zone parody. And I, all, I saw it as a kid. 
my mother rented the VHS. And I was, it was just so strange. I should not have been watching it. And I watched it actually a couple months ago. And I was like, this is weird. Um, Nell said, I love that Balloon Boy snitched on himself on live TV. Pole Girl said, Count Floyd for me too. Bradley said, Christina's like Santa Claus, but not the one Goldberg played in Santa Slay, also starring Fran Drescher. Pogo said, I saw Maniac Mansion living in Detroit area. We got all the Canadian shows. Prisma said, I could never get into Maniac Mansion. I urge you to watch it again. Mike said, Flaherty did a great guest spot. I'm married with children as a dentist. I don't even remember that at all. Red Dog said, I vaguely remember watching Maniac Mansion on Fox. Bradley said, I thought Maniac Mansion was an NES game. Yes. And uh, the TV show is loosely, loosely based on the game. Okay, I'm exhausted. Nell said, is the rest of your house as tidy as your kitchen always is? I, I would like to think so. I guess. Now I'm insecure about it. But yeah, no, I think so. Why would wh You would think the kitchen would be the messiest. There's so much shit going on here. Uh, Rob said, do you not find it inconvenient having your microwave so high up? I find it very convenient. I think it's it's at uh, you know eye level for me, and I have to do that, as opposed to doing having it lower and having to bend down. Where would you want me to put the fucking microwave, Rob? You want to redesign the kitchen? You want to be a fucking big shot? Draw up the plans. Let's see what fucking great ideas, architectural ideas you have. It's just obnoxious. Bradley said, man, I have to watch it now. Prisma said, someone needs a nap. How do you feel about AEW showing the all-in footage next Wednesday? I, I hope uh, it's me in a blazer with those two guys from Phoenix. That's, that's the footage that I'm most happy with. Um... Christine said, our microwave is over our stove, Rob. All the kids, cool kids, like high microwaves. Tyvo said, RJ is taller than we think he is. I've been told that I tweet smaller. Maple said, ignore my silly friend Dan, who knows nothing except good coffee suggestions. Alanis is my favorite Canadian, though I bet if you sing her music now, you could slide from third to first. Well, I guess it's not happening. So CR said, RJ is very tall. He needs a microwave to be high up. Nail said, I enjoy Rob getting sassed. Rob said, send me the dimensions. Interior design extraordinary at your service. Don't show up with the fucking measuring tape, big shot. You want to do everything by hand? You want to be a big shot? You want to be a carpenter with your, a lady there? Knock yourself out. Everbless said, RJ, your hey W is funny. Thanks. Red Dog said, he was great. Joe Flaherty was great and happy. Gilmore keeping Sandler from putting. Rob said, do you have two toasters? No. One is a microwave. One is a toaster. And then this, this. Is your coffee maker? Are we not? Are we not all caught up? It's a blender here. What's so hard to understand? Does anyone else have a kitchen watching this? Jay said every apartment I'm in Italy has the stove next to the fridge. This looks like a five star kitchen to me. Neil said, "Oh, the murder bird is one of the first people to make RJ look regular size." Man's RJ is huge, and you should go support his hugeness uh, by watching the latest AW now. Everbless said, did you watch WrestleMania? No, I did not. I, I had too much work to do. And tonight I'm watching the Hope News Network. Razor Gem says, what songs do you think Lance Archer plays on Guitar Hero, deep in the heart of Texas? Bradley said, I think Archer's been reading too much of David Schultz's biography. Oh, I love that guy. Huh? Is this fake? Huh? Bah! Was my David Schultz impression? V said yes, but my kitchen is on the right, so it doesn't count. Mia said, "Do you have an air fryer?" I I think we got rid of it. I had one because I was working on a, a daytime show, and they were giving away gifts. And I think we got an air fryer. Like, what do I do with this? It's too much work. It's too big. It's too bulky. Christine said, "I do like archers. Can I have your blender?" No, you cannot. Tyabo said, "Murderhawk is like the second or third tallest wrestler in AEW. Big, big, big fella." Bradley said, are we bringing up kitchen locations again? Yes, we are. Rob said, is your laptop up against the wall, or is there more kitchen space we are not privy to? No, this is the end of it. And then beyond this is a small dining room, and then the backyard. Um, is that up against the wall? So it's an open concept here. As I'm See, I'm putting – see, I can go through this wall here. Uh, it's in the corner of a counter. What? what? Shit's weird. Bradley said, what is your most used – Kitchen appliance. Well, I mean, are we counting the fridge? Not the microwave. Maybe the do we can the stove is an appliance. Yeah, the stove. I would say the stove. I make eggs every morning, you know. Uh Nails, Nails wants to know is Satnam bigger than Lance Archer? Yes, but not by much. 
Um, Miss Annie said, is RJ's kitchen on the left? Well, it depends where, where I would put the cameras. But if I did a sitcom in the house. Prisma said, backyard, you said, do you have a green thumb? No, I do not. Not interested in getting down on my knees in the dirt. Daniel said, beyond root. Sorry, RJ, she can't count. She's from backwards land. Third means first. Christine said, we need floor plans of RJ's place. Nail said, you can tell Rob doesn't know about the subject matter because his mind is drifting to the background. He's not focused, and this is not going well. Bradley said, worst Twilight Zone episode. Bewitching Pool has to be up there or down there, I suppose. Um, not a fan of Time Enough at last. It's so stupid. Not a fan of To Serve Man. It's just, it's so prop heavy. <laughs> Not a fan of basically any of that season with the hour-long episodes that they had to put on videotape instead of film them. Uh, they're just exhausting. Um, there's one, am I crazy? There's one where Don Rickles has super strength. Not a fa favorite of mine either. Jay, I said, some of us don't understand 90% of the topic, so I guess the only only the kitchen topic triggers engagement. The only words we understand, yeah, this is a clickable, this is an SEO thing. We're just talking about kitchens now for the views. Uh, Typo said, looks like Paul White and Big Bill are the only, only are the only ones taller than Satnam. Lance is 6'8". He's so handsome. Monica said, if we get a floor plan, my Sims, RJ, will be very happy. Everbless, RJ, Sarah, what would you do if you were the boss of AEW? I would insist that we open each show with God Bless America. Um, Neil said, oh, my God, Big Bill. Large fella. Bradley said, RJ chose violence today, picking the Twilight Zone episodes. And, yes, Mr. Dingle the Strong. I mean, even – and isn't there one where Mickey Rooney is a jockey who then is all of a sudden very tall? Yeah, any of those, there's also one with a guy, not crazy about this one, where the guy has a genie lamp and one of the wishes is to be like the most powerful person in the world and then he's Hitler. It's just, all, I, I just remember the guy turning around and having a mustache and it's like, it made no sense. Christine said, I like the cabinets above the fridge and the microwave. Well, use it for your own plans. Nail said, would you fire Renee or give her awful tasks to do? No, Renee's someone you you keep around, you know, because she's so useful in so many ways. Do I know what those ways are? No, but I'm, I'll find out. Bradley said, the last night of a jockey. Thank you. Mia said, have a great weekend, everyone. Pogo said, is Mike a real estate agent? Miss Annie said, regardless of how bad the Hope News Network ends up being, please send the link to members during the week if it's possible. I'll do it. Christine said, can you imagine me talking to a renovator and showing him clips from this show for my kitchen design? Because I can't. I want something like, like this, you know? And, I, and, then, and then you just stand here with a laptop. Do we have room for a laptop? <laughs> and I want coffee. He'll be, you know, do we have a place where we could press the coffee? I think that's really important. Like a laptop stand. Maybe we put a laptop stand here. Anyway, this is reductive. Um, Generally speaking, that's the show. Mike said, I work in property management, actually. Good for you, Mike. I will urge you again, if you haven't already, if you already have, go do it again. Watch the latest AEW with Lance Archer. It's a Lance Archer like you've never seen. It blew me away. It's smart, intellectual. We get, I, I think the last half, it's a pretty deep discussion, to be honest with you. You never know what you're going to get on Hay. Uh, go like it. Go watch it. Go share it. Go comment. Go retweet and share the AW tweet about it since the it's a YouTube link. It's a whole thing. Go. Just go spam the algorithm. Do that whole thing. Instagram, Tumblr, most on Tumblr, Facebook, all the business, Reddit. Do your shit. Do whatever the fuck you have to do. You know what I'm saying? Poker said, have a, have a good week all. Use a pin box to view the solar eclipse tomorrow. I just won't leave the house. It's not necessary. Let's get a final look at these. This romance. Wasn't this a romantic day? We fell in love with kitchen renovation talk. And I think that's the important thing. That's the important lesson we learned today. Don't you think? I think it is. Aaron has a wonderful Sylvia emoji. You did a great job. Happy retirement to Jerry. And uh, I'll be back next week. With more stupid shit. Oh, Nell said Ethan Page has a new vlog at 1 p.m. Great. Got to plug everybody else's shit. He hasn't done anything about hey in a while. What the fuck? 
Red Dog says, my niece just got up from the breakfast table, started stretching, and asked, why the heck are you watching a video of a shirtless man? It's wrestling related. Go away. And on that note, 